Hello, welcome to online class. I'm Dr. S. Tilan Muanangaiti, Assistant Professor of Political Science, uh, University and Higher Education Department, Government of Manipur, India. I presently post at, at CI College, uh, Bistapur District, Manipur. The intended target audience of my class is primarily BA or undergraduate students taking political science as one of the subject. I am really happy to interact with you all through this online class. And in this class, we'll talk about behavioralism in political science. First, we'll discuss what is behavioralism or what is political behavior. And then we'll see the factors responsible for the emergence of behavior revolutions in political science and the questions of what is behaviorism or what is political behavior. Behaviorism is an approach uh, in political science that emerged in the 1930s in the United States. It advocates the view that the subject matter of political science should be limited to phenomena that are independently observable and quantifiable. Under behavioral revolutions, relevance has become primary concern, the primary focus of social science research. Behavioralism is a renewed and reinforced thought by political scientists to take the science in political science seriously on the lines of physical and biological sciences in lines with the new development in the field of other social sciences. That is, interdisciplinary approach lies at the core of behavioral political science. It is an approach which goes beyond an analysis of political institutions. That is, political institutions was no longer considered as the basic unit of analysis, or political institutions was no longer considered as the basic unit for social science research. Rather, the political behavior of individuals or group of individuals has become the primary concern of social science research. In contrast to traditional approach, behavior as in political science advances the case of value-free pure science. They attempted to discard intuitions or at least to support it with empirical observation. A traditionalist, in contrast, might attempt to support intuitions with reason alone. Behavioralism is also a belief which insists that social theory can be constructed or should be constructed only on the basis of observable behavior because only such behavior provides measurable and quantifiable data for research. The exponent of behaviorism have the conviction that by neglecting the political behavior of individuals who are the real actors of social and political events, a plausible social or political theory cannot be constructed. Behaviorism calls for a new need of analysis new method, new data, procedures, and for the development of a systematic theory. The questions and challenge hyperfactualism, the habit of collecting fact without any relationship with theory. In contrast to the deductive methods of politics and to the historical and comparative methods, there was a greater tendency towards observations survey and measurement. Greater focus or attention was given to look for better assumptions, premises, and hypotheses. Collection of facts and data came to be linked with the social reality, that is to unravel the pattern of things which lay behind them. Under the influence of uh, behavioral relations, social and political scientists began to pay more greater attention to study individuals' attitudes, motivations, and perceptions. 
Political scientist plays great emphasis on the use of statistical and quantifiable measurement, especially on the technique of content analysis. Using the method of survey techniques and interview as a source of data enabled researchers to verify facts. They could also deal with problems in hand, problems of attitude measurement, scale construction, tests of validity and reliability. With all the new development and changes that had taken place in the field of political science, uh, with the new method, technique, analysis, and the influences that the subject had, and because of the transformation that, sub that the subject had experienced, and because of the contributions of even leading political scientists, uh, uh, the subject and scope of political science has had been considerably refined. I'll end my class here for today, and I'll see you in the next class where we shall discuss about the factors responsible for the emergence of behavioralism in political science, and also we'll see in brief some of the contributions of prominent behavioralist political thinkers. Thank you.